Good morning. Welcome to the John Mandola Show here on WILK 1003 in the morning in uh, some cloudy skies right now. It's okay. Uh, we're getting through it and uh, getting a little closer to the holiday. So uh, buzz is in the air. We're talking winter sports season. We're going to talk some high school basketball coming up here on the show today. Uh, but first up, we're going to talk a lot of uh, Dallas area swimming. And the head coach, Romaine Mosher, in studio with us. And uh, coach, welcome in this morning. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to be here again. Well, uh, looks like uh, your student athletes here got a nice little workout uh, today on a Saturday. Yes, they did. Well, uh, the hard work has continued there at Dallas uh, for quite some time. And here we are for the 2018-19 season. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the expectations. Uh, What are you thinking here in 2018-19 with this team? Well, we're going to continue to um, proceed to um, set goals and achieve the goals. And we set practice goals as well so that they can achieve their meet goals. And we're going to continue to work hard. And of course, uh, you got guys and girls, and a lot of good, talented swimmers here from Dallas area, and a lot of good, talented students uh, as well in the classroom. Uh, the first uh, young man we're going to talk to is Shane Szczynski. Tell us a little bit about Shane and, and how he follows through at practice and, and does what he's supposed to do. Well, Shane is a beast in the pool. He does whatever I ask him to do, and then asks for more, and that obviously translates to his success in meets. All right, let's welcome in Shane Szczynski here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Shane, let's uh, welcome you in as a junior. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the events that you're doing this year. Uh, the events I'm doing this year is I'm actually new to the 200 I am this year because I made my breaststroke legal and I got the times down. But my signature events are the 200 free, 500 free, and the 100 free. Um, I'm really, I, I enjoy doing distance because you could just swim and swim and you have more of an opportunity to get ahead of your opponents and it's it's a rush <laughs> well it's a lot of hard work uh, in the pool talk about the a typical work week there at, uh, at dallas area when you guys are in the pool oh um, it's it's a lot of yardage we weekly we probably do around 25 25 to thirty thousand yards a week uh and they, we have sprint distance practices where we're split into two groups where if you're a sprinter, you do a lot of short uh, short uh, sprints and stuff like that along those lines, a lot of IM, a lot of stuff like that. Um, I'm in distance and in distance we do around 6,000 to probably around 68 for a practice, 6,800 yards for a practice. And it's a lot of long, it's a lot of long sprints instead. And... We do a lot of drills there. We have like a five five hundreds drill that's really, really, really isn't fun. But uh, we get an opportunity to work during it, and I'm thankful for that opportunity. Uh, Saturdays we do our long dry land, and that's always fun because coach always has something creative and new for us. So we always are thankful for that. And then we jump in the pool, and it's not even sunrise yet, and we're just getting a good workout in. You must uh, have to replenish uh, the fluids, uh, the fuel for the body. I mean, uh, talk a little bit about uh, getting the right foods in you because there's thousands of calories all of you are burning each week. Oh, yeah. Uh, the number one thing a practice coach probably nags us on about is probably water because sometimes some of us don't bring water bottles and she'll like throw water bottles at us while we're swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get hydrated, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, Being a captain on this team, talk a little bit about uh, the leadership uh, role for you. Um, As a captain, we have to make sure that everybody knows what they're doing and knows when they're doing it in practice. And uh, during meets, we have to direct people. uh, We have to let them know what events they're doing. They have to know when their events are. Uh, We have the opportunity to instruct lower classmen on technique, stroke, uh, speed, stuff like that. Um, and we really just kind of oversee all together and uh, run the practice. And, of course, uh, you are, are quite involved. You're third in your class, which is amazing. Uh, so keep up the great work there in the classroom. Um, but there's a whole lot of things that you do other than that with the Science Olympia, uh, Olympiad mock trial. Take us through all those other events that you do there at Dallas area. Uh, mock trial is basically what it sounds like. It's a, it's a mock courtroom trials where you either get a criminal or a civil case and you have to win both sides of the case, the defense and the prosecution. If we win, we go to states. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I am, I'm president of the mock trial, and I'm the head lawyer this year for prosecution. Um, 
it's a lot of fun because it's a lot of debate and a lot of arguing, but it's sound courtroom manner too. Uh, Science Olympiad is a lot of fun. You could choose your events. Uh, I go for academic events through Code Busters, which is code breaking, and uh, Protein Modeling, which is uh, computer information systems, uh, molecular modeling, and stuff like that. Uh, junior Steering, I'm president of the junior class, and we've been raising money gradually. We've made about probably $1,200 to $1,500 this year through uh, different sales and things like that. And we put that all towards our prom and class trip and and then there's a key club and student guard student council is student council is fun and key club is a lot of volunteering which i always love the opportunity to do you have a twin brother trent uh, and a brother ethan so talk about both of them and uh, your relationship and what they're up to uh trent is <laughs> uh i can't go a day without talking to trent or just seeing him on a daily basis uh He's in my. He's in one of my classes, so we see each other for about a quarter of the day. And we, just the other day, we split the class up because we were arguing so much, and we actually divided the class because of it. And it, he's a he's a lot of fun to be around with. Um, my brother Ethan, he's um going to King's College right now and majoring in political science, I believe. So, uh, that's good for him and. That's kind of cool. (laughs) Biology and physics, a couple of subjects you like there at Dallas area as we talk with Shane Szynski. And uh, down the road here, you have some big, hefty goals. Talk about what you'd like to do at the next level. Uh, I I would love to go to college, and I've I've been looking into several different colleges like Georgia Tech, uh, Bucknell, Florida University, Duke University. Um, I'm just trying to work everything as hard as I can so I could reap what I sow in the end. All right, biomedical, mechanical engineering, uh, a lot of different stuff that you have goals for. Um, as far as uh, the pool stuff for you, talk about your individual goals this year. What would you like to accomplish? Uh, my individual goals this year is that I want to beat both of our 500 records. I want to beat our school 200 record, and I would love to get our school 100 record. And probably the biggest goal I have this year is that I want to individually medal at states in one of my uh, individuals. And then here on next year in senior year i'm hoping to place either a third or a first or a second in um uh individual event all right shane well uh, you got your act together that's for sure third in his class uh outstanding job in the pool shane szynski thanks for your time all right let's move along now we uh get to another student athlete here and it's melissa leonard but uh, coach uh, mosher uh, tell us a little bit about melissa and, and what she has to offer there at dallas area well, Missy's pretty versatile. She can pretty much swim whatever I ask her to swim. And um, she is like our beastette in the pool. She's right on Shane's tail when they're swimming side by side. And it really pushes her to do her best in every practice. All right. Awesome. Let's welcome in Melissa Leonard here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, for you, uh, let's talk a little bit about your work ethic. Where does it come from, Melissa, in the pool? Well, I think it's just a lot of motivation from like when I was like younger and seeing like my upperclassmen uh doing a lot of like pushing themselves so a lot of my motivation just comes from them and I want to like kind of fill their shoes when they leave the pool like after they graduate and I like want to do like live up to their standards. To take us through the events that you compete in and which one is your favorite? Well I mostly swim distance like Shane I swim the 200 free and 500 free and um, my favorite would probably be the 200 free because it's faster than the 500 free and um, I think I'm a little better at the 200 free. Track and field, another sport you do. How about the events you compete in there? Um, I'm like mid distance, so I do like the 400 and 800, mostly the 800. And I also swim the, I'm sorry, run the four by eight relay. Uh, two sisters, uh, Jennifer and Michelle. Let's uh, talk about the, what they're up to right now. Well, Jennifer is my twin, and she's uh, here now, actually. And she swims with me, and I, she's like, we're always together. There's, I don't think there's a time we're ever really apart. And my older sister, Michelle, she's a junior in college, and she goes to Lafayette, and she majors in chemical engineering. Wow, big-time academics there. You're doing it as well with a a 97 average in the classroom. You love math. Uh, Talk about uh, life after high school, what you're thinking as far as a college track. Well, I would love to swim in college. That's probably one of my biggest things because I've been swimming for so long. But I don't really know, like, college-wise, like, I want to go to college, but where exactly is still up for debate. 
And as far as uh, the bonding with uh, your teammates, uh, the sleepovers or the breakfast, talk about the fun that you, you try to have because there's so much work to put into the pool. Uh, you got to keep it light, I'm sure, sometimes. So uh, what do you and your teammates do for fun? We, like you said, we have a team sleepover. And on the team sleepover this year, we did a scavenger hunt, which was, it was just girls and it was a lot of fun. And as a whole team together with the guys and girls, we'll go to like um, breakfast at the skillet, like side skillet, or just do other activities outside of school together to try to keep like us very close. And I think that's the interesting thing about swimming is that we're all very, very close than compared to any other sports, guys and girls. All right, Melissa, we'll keep up the great work at the classroom and in the pool. We wish you the best. Thank you. All right, let's move along here. Hannah Thomas is with us as well. And uh, let's get back to Coach Mosier. And, uh, Coach, what couldn't you tell us about uh, Hannah? Well, Hannah is kind of quiet most of the time, uh, but don't underestimate her because she can really pull it out when she needs to. She's consistent, and that's what I always tell her is that consistency is important. All right, let's welcome in Hannah Thomas here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, senior year for you, Hannah, so uh, uh, what are you excited about the, this final go-round for you in the pool? Well, I'm excited for my last districts. Um, I'm sad for a swim to end. I probably won't swim in college because I want to work on my academics. But, uh, yeah, I also am excited to be captain this year and lead my team because I never thought I would uh, be leading a, leading a team. And I've always been, like, the very shy girl, um, like, kind of just, like, was watching the captains and, like, envying them when I was, like, and an underclassman, so being captain now is uh, very exciting for me. The uh, statement from your coach, don't underestimate you. Talk a little bit about what you think that, that means. Uh, do you kind of have a fiery uh, part of you, or, or you like being the underdog a little bit? Uh, yeah, I I know uh, throughout the season I'm always very consistent with my times. Always, like, both the same in my 100, 100 fly and my 100 back. And, like, usually when I go to districts, I just like have flying colors with my times. I always uh, do better than expected. The one year we always get these paper plate awards and I got the the, uh, dark horse awards. So I just came out of nowhere and they didn't expect me to do as well as I was supposed to. Great to hear. We're always rooting for you and and that underdog dark horse kind of role. You have uh, a couple of sisters, Emma and Olivia. Tell us about both of them. I do. Uh, Emma is here today. Uh, She's a sophomore and she also swims with me and we're always together uh swimming uh and olivia is 13 she's in seventh grade she also swims and swims just something that i guess runs in our family (laughs) yes it does uh down the road here you're you're thinking maybe pharmacy at at wilkes is the track you'd like to go yes i have been accepted to wilkes and i just got a call on friday uh, about an interview up for wilkes to get into their pharmacy program so i'm excited for that well congratulations a 93 average in the classroom so doing a real nice job you like biology which is right there with that track let's talk about the the role model in your life your mom Uh, tell us about your relationship with her and why you look up to her Uh, i look up to my mom because i always will talk to her about anything and she always gives me great advice uh she's one of the reasons why pharmacy was so appealing to me i she's a pharmacist and I always she always comes home with her stories of her talking about her day at work and her patients and I never really thought pharmacy could be a a career option for me and basically she kind of opened up the idea to maybe doing pharmacy. All right, Anna. Well, listen, it's uh, great to hear your story. Uh, go get them and uh, continued success in the pool and in the classroom. Thank you. All right, Hannah Thomas from Dallas area here on the John Mandola Show. We have more swimmers to get to. We're also going to talk some high school basketball here on the show. It's 10 16. Let's head out now to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Jeremy Pachinski. Break. Like a good neighbor, Jeremy Pachinski and Drums is there. We'll be back on WILK.